Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this tutorial, we are going to do a response spectrum analysis. In this, uh, we are going to determine res response of a pre-stressed uh, suspension bridge subjected to a seismic load. So here we are going to apply a seismic load uh, oscillation in lateral direction that is in y-axis uh, over a frequency range of 0 to 50 hertz. And uh, so uh, let's start so in this uh, you can see the project contains a pre-stress uh, stressed response spectrum analysis uh, schematic uh, already defined so static structural then model and response spectrum so we are uh, click, double clicking on model we are there in this model and uh, what we are going to do first we are going to check uh, uh, unit units uh, it should be in metric uh, meter okay and uh, all our degree rpm and celsius okay here if we click on mass so we have to go to sizing deep featuring size so here we are going to change it to 0 0.5 meter now we are going to add uh, insert fixed support there fixed support we are going to select all the four vertex we are going to select apply okay we have defined this uh, fixed support and we are going to give a displacement constraint mm -hmm so this uh, so here we are going to insert a zero displacement constant in and by and z direction so insert uh, displacement same thing we are going to do on the other end also now we are going to suppress this vertical beams here and here suppress body okay then we are going here we will apply displacement to to the free ends of two wires at the minus x end so here we are going to select insert displacement and uh, in x component we are going to put minus 993 meter okay and in z minus 0 0.122 meter <laughs> same displacement we are going to add at this corner now we will apply in, we are going to insert a standard earth gravity in minus z direction for this static structural analysis so insert standard earth gravity and direction we will check minus z direction okay 
now we are going to click on analysis setting so, and we are going to turn on this large deflection on okay now solve so it has been solved then we are going to insert the formation total and evaluate all results okay so you can see here total deformation that is 1.9 meter maximum so that is coming here and here the 